How are we feeling about public schools this morning? Yeah. So my name is Angel Gober, and I am the Western Pennsylvania Director with One Pennsylvania, and I'm also a parent. Uh, we are a statewide organization of workers, elders, parents, community members coming together to get off the sidelines and to fight to build a future that we believe in. And we all know that that starts with public education. So we stand here knowing that we've actually had really great victories here in our city. Together we've won community schools. We have stopped school closures. We have kicked out Teach for America. And we've also done our due diligence to challenge the school to prison pipeline by banning suspensions for pre-K to second grade for nonviolent offenses. So we are so proud to have a democratically elected school board here in our city. We know so many other communities have lost that right, like Little Rock and New Orleans. Um, and we also have still so much work to do. We know so many communities um, in Pittsburgh, we've spent, sorry, in Pittsburgh, we spent over $87 million on charter schools alone last year. Shame. Uh, when our board votes, our local board, votes no on new charter schools, the Pennsylvania State Charter Appeal Board overrides and disrespects our local voice, approving 99% of those charter applications, even when they deny kids with disabilities. So that is problematic. So it is time to reimagine what our schools should be. And when we, pro when we prioritize and win for the most vulnerable, underserved students, we win for all kids. So one way, one way is one way that we do this is, you know, by lifting up parents who've actually lived through the struggle and moving them into real power. So I'm so gratefully humbled and honored to introduce our next speaker. Um, you know, she's all the way from Philadelphia, my good friend, my sister in the movement. She just run one city council at large in Philadelphia. Uh, so, Ms. Kendra Brooks. Woo, Kendra! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Angel. Good morning. My name is Kendra Brooks. I'm a mother of five, a grandmother of three, and a Philadelphia public school activist. This November, I was elected to office and will be the first Working Families Party city council person in Philadelphia's history. As a majority black and brown city, we have been ground zero for the decimation of public education in favor of privatization schemes. These intentional choices have caused a historic disinvestment in the district, hurting our children. This has caused mass public schools closures, underpaid power professionals and classroom aides, and over-policing of our students, and years of labor unrest. Most damningly, we have also been dealing with the lead and asbestos crisis that grows weekly with new revelations of neglect without regard for the health of our students, our working educators, and our communities. But we are also home of a true movement for public education, a movement of parents, students, and educators who have fought in the trenches for the schools we deserve and have won. This includes returning Philadelphia to local control with new revenue from the city. In fact, just this week, our movement won nearly 50% reduction in tax abatement that has handed out millions to wealthy developers at the expense of our kids. Philadelphians are looking for answers to the systematic issues intentionally inflicted on our school district through years of disinvestment, disinvestment and structural racism. Our movement is full of people like me, ready to organize on a local level for the quality schools working families need. But we know we cannot do it alone. It's time for Pennsylvanians who care about public education 
to swing this country in the right direction. And that's to the left. Thank you so much. <laughs>